Welcome back to the Mangler Chelsea uh, Football Manager 2020. I'm back here. We just won our first game. Uh, in summary, the other day we had a victory in our first preseason game, 2-1. to one. I was hoping for a shutout, but we uh, let Billy Gilmore take off on a one-on-everybody run, and he ran and blew past and scored on our backup goalie. Um, hopefully that won't happen again. We'll definitely make sure we work on improving our defense, especially our central defense in this case. But it is the preseason, so a lot of players are still on vacation and things like that. I'm not too worried about it. Uh, anyway, overall right now, we're going to be looking through and seeing what the game gives us in between games. I think we only have one day of training. It'll probably be a few more emails. We'll see how this looks. So far, the head coach performance is the board will welcome you into the role and look forward to your time in charge with optimism. No particular good or bad things to say, it looks like. Um, four players out injured. Um, let's see. Here's the overall budget, 359 million, 216 profit this season. Those are probably the players that we got rid of. Um, I'll go ahead and continue here. All right, here's a review just to so you can see currently going on games uh, next. That's the Euro Championship Cup. And the other scores and the other teams. Only 2,000 people at that game. Interesting. Um, just a news publish, match report by Sky Sports News. Hey, I know Sky Sports. They called player of the match Kovacic. 8.8 uh, .8 match rating. That's pretty good. He did have the first goal, so that's probably why. Um, it, in the report, it said experienced winger Pedro doubled Chelsea's lead with a close-range volley, which hit the inside of the post before crossing the line in the 18th minute. Billy Gilmore's 92nd-minute strike proved the only consolation for the Blues. It was a fine solo effort from Gilmore that gave his team a fighting chance of mounting a comeback. Wow, yeah, that was a pretty awesome play. Um, in the next email, it looks like our defender center back Christensen is out for three to six days with a gashed lower leg. They like gashes, apparently. Um, and we have still a bunch of other players out injured. Loftus-Cheek, James, hudson Adoy, Ginkle, and Rudiger. All right. Gilmore sparkles despite Chelsea's under-23s defeat. I watched them defeat against us, or I watched their defeat against us despite their result. Special praise should be reserved for Billy Gilmore, the Scottish guy. The central midfielder netted the best goal of the game late on to round off his performance by skinning an opponent on his way to scoring a tidy finish into the bottom left corner from 13 yards. He put on a superb performance for his team and will be delighted to be able to cap his display with a goal. Additionally, although Carlos Zeiger didn't stand out on occasion, he certainly did nothing to change my opinion that he should be sent out on loan in order to further his development. I think he looks ready to play for the Vanarama National Level club and those teams should be targeted accordingly as he has the potential to become a good player that would benefit from such a move right now. All right so this is I'm looking at the uh, list to try to see who this who he is. He had a 6.9 and I can offer him out for a loan. I guess this is more money towards me and more experience for him. Um, if he's recommending that and he's under 23, he's pretty young, he probably wouldn't play anyway. Let's look at, let's see if we can uh, check his stats before just to see if he's somebody that we would think about playing with right now or if he still needs more development. He's a Croatian valued at 205,000. He's currently a one and a half 
star decent young prospect he has potential to get to two or the third one's in black um oh maybe black means decent rating so he's a little low so oh he's a young goalkeeper here we go right into the uh, just calls him a youngster goalkeeper sweeper keeper um uh, I don't see why that would be a problem. I'll go ahead and offer him out for a loan. Let's see if somebody picks him up and we get some money. All right, next email, team selection advice, Chelsea under 18s. I suggest we pick the following team for Thursday's match against the under 18s. All right, show me the list. It now includes Caballero for goalie, Baker, and Alonso coming back in place of Christensen, who's hurt, and Emerson. Um, Conte gives him low ability. I guess he's, he's out of position. Yeah, that must be why. Okay. Um, I'll go ahead and say use suggested squad, and then once I actually get there, uh, I can decide for sure. And then, yeah, okay. Next. Available first team players for under 18s match. I need your confirmation of the first team players you want to make available for tomorrow's under 18 match against Chelsea. This is a preliminary squad for tomorrow's fixture against Chelsea under 18s. Feel free to make any changes you see fit. Oh, they're showing me the 18 squad. Okay, so I'm looking at the players. Not particularly familiar with too many of these players. I think I'll just let them. I just say no first team players. I don't plan on playing any of my current first team players on that team. Um, the only people I know are on vacation, so I'll go ahead and say next. Um, attached post match analysis. Attached is an analysis of the team's performance in our recent match against Chelsea under 23s, which we won two to one. Um, we won two to one. Focused our attacks on the right wing. Highest pass combination was Giorgino to Zuma. Key passes and mistakes were uh, Kovacic and Kante. Um, possession, we had 63%, 12 shots on goal. Um, best performance was Kovacic. No poor performances. Not much to learn there. All right. Um, now we have coaching staff advice summary. As requested, I've completed my fortnightly report on the coaching staff. See below for a summary of my advice. All right, so he's recommending that I bring on three coaches, a regular coach, a goalkeeping coach, and a fitness coach. The reasons are we don't have enough coaches. Um, I think... Coaching is something that we may need. Uh, let's look at each player. This one, Ricky Sabraja is a 63-year-old with only one and a half uh, star reputation. He's high on defending, determination, discipline, and working with youngsters. His potential of judging players is a 17. He's a vertical tiki-taka specialist. Um, it's only a one and a half star, but I guess it's, it would be cheaper because of that. Have to decide about that. I'm not sure. He's not good at goalkeeping. I think I'll skip him. Next is Christoph Lalichon, who's a goalkeeping coach. He's a three star goalkeeping coach and currently contracted to Chelsea under 23s uh, for 803,000 pounds per year. He's a French 56 year old goalkeeping coach. Um, he's very high scores on distribution handling and shot stopping. Those are probably the good important things. Um, he sounds like a good bet. If we have room for him, let's go ahead and hit apply. And okay, so we can offer um, 
offer a salary here. Um, here's one, the automatic uh, deal that they put on here, 952,000. So it looks like you'd get, be getting a raise. We got some space for coaches, goalkeeping coach, uh, full time, no secondary job. Um, sure, let's go ahead and finalize it. I'm pleased with everything was sorted out so quickly. I'll be in touch regarding my final decision in the near future. Okay, exit talk. Next is Jose Alfonso Morchili, the fitness coach. Um, he is a two star from Spain. He prefers 4141 DM wide. That looks familiar. I think we tried that one already. He's high on fitness, determination, level of discipline, motivated. Okay, so maybe players will be happier with him. Um, he's a model citizen. 201000 so much cheaper than the other coach. He's contracted to Watford. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say no on him. Next was scouting and transfer team vacancies. Next we have Philip Giles, general manager. We have no current general manager. Okay. Well, this guy's only a two-star English one. He's not very high in salary for a general manager, only 201000 It's kind of surprisingly low, but um, maybe that's important. I don't still don't understand the purpose of a general manager in this game. I think they just talk to people when they start and, and leave your team. Um, maybe that encourages them to, to uh, feel better. But it says scouting. Um, judging player potential is his highest bet. But I don't think we need to general manager at this point. Um, here's another scout. We have space for another scout. We also have no transfers in case you hadn't realized that, Jody Morris. Uh, we can't tr do transfers, so let's go ahead and pass on him. Michael Emerson, data analyst. Um, he's only a two-star. He's judging player data, judging team data. Um, I guess he would be apt to hit targets better. Uh, he's a un currently an under-23s data analyst, so it would be a raise for him. Only 28 years old. Um, he's kind of a medium. I think I'll, I'll uh, pass on him right now. Um, we got medical team vacancies, room for more physios. This one's two, a little over two stars, good at physiotherapy. Um, it wouldn't hurt. It's available on a free transfer. He's 51 years old, Grant Downey. That probably doesn't mean anything. Um, it's free. It's only a hundred thousand. Um, I don't see why not. All right, got that. Next is Mark Gillette, another physio. He's only one and a half stars. False unknown on a free transfer. Um, he's good at physiotherapy. Also, he's very good on physiotherapy. And judging staff ability is pretty good. Uh, Forty-eight years old, English. He's kind of low stars, but he's cheap, so yeah, 95000 We got space. We'll do it. All right, sports scientist. We currently have space for another sports scientist. Let's look at this one. This one's almost two stars. Low scores on pretty much everything. He's motivated. Um, he is does have a preferred formation similar to what we like. But he's only two stars, but he makes next to nothing. Um, he's like a cheerleader, it sounds like, if he's just a motivating guy. Uh, if we got the space and the money, why not? Yeah, oh, he wants 462000 Oh my gosh. Um, let's lower that. I don't need it for that much money for that low of quality. Let's lower it to... 194 and see what he thinks. Your opening offer far too away from my demands for me to consider negotiating acceptable offer in these talks. Or the consider acceptable offer in these talks will end. Offer me the requested salary 
will make it easier. He did lower his, his requested to 445,000. I'm just gonna walk away. I'm not falling for that one. Staff coaching courses. Um, we've got more staff interested. Include uh, improving the quality of the coaching at the club. Um, here's a coach that won two stars. He's currently till the end of or till the middle of next year for 134,000. His score, he has determination is his best thing for 17. Um, that's pretty much his best thing as a motivator. So it's another cheerleader. He's got some good goalkeeping. Oh, he's a goalkeeping coach. Okay, so 9, 9, and 9. I think we just hired a couple goalkeeping coaches. Yeah, well, at least one of them up there. Um, I'll go ahead and pass on him. Next one is another goalkeeping coach. This one's a 10, 10, 10, so much higher. Still only two stars, 31 years old. Um, nothing much. I mean, goalkeeping, he's pretty good. Let's compare him. He was 10, 10, 10. What was this guy? Oh, 19, 19, 19. Yeah, I think we like this one and we made the great choice by skipping. And then this one is determination. He's a under 23s coach. He's only a two star determination. Very, very low cost. Um, 433 narrow, which is an interesting, possibly usable in the future. Um, I'm going to have to say no right now. We just hired a bunch of them. He's not doesn't really stand out too much. All right, uh, continue. Now we're up to our almost at our next game. This is another social, more social stuff. Um, let's see. Yeah, they're talking about Billy Gilmore a lot after that play. <laughs> Somebody wants, Leighton Orient wants Gilmore on loan. <laughs> I wonder how much money we can make off of him. At least for, you know, a year or so. Um, let's see. We've got, how about, let's see. Let's see if who else we're following. We're only following Chelsea. Not Borussia Dortmund or anybody else. Okay, I'll add him on later. Here's our friendly that we planned out. This is only two days after the last one, so we'll definitely want to watch time on these guys and not, not let anyone get too tired. This will benefit us both on the under 18s and our current team. Um, nothing too interesting. Uh, preferred formation. I think we still have our same 4 2 3 1 wide Gagan press on here. The biggest strength are the crossing, weakness, handling. Makes sense for somebody. All right, team selection. Here it shows a big weakness right in front of Baker. Um, is there anything we can do about that? If we swap these players' positions, would that change anything? There we go. Now it's a weakness on the right near Aspilicueta, but it's not as big of a weakness. It's uh, We got Giroud. Conte is playing up front. That's interesting. We'll see how that goes. Is there anybody on the bench we need? Let's see, tired wise. We got Zuma looks a little bit tired. Tired after his last match. Barkley's tired. We'll definitely plan to take them out probably at halfway. Um, yeah. I think that that's all right. What if Conte and Pedro switch positions? Would that help me? No, it doesn't look like that helps me. What if Barkley and Conte switch positions? Would that help? Mm, now they're both kind of not doing so well. Okay. Well, 
Again, it's preseason. I'm not too worried about that. We're just getting reps in, basically. So I'll say submit team. Teams are warming up. Go ahead and move on to the dressing room. Pep talk. I'm going to be calm and say all the best out there tonight. Have fun. Tell the defense. Get out there. Show me why you deserve a place on this team. I'm going to say that assertively. They look happy. Majority of the players reacted positively to the comments. Aspilicueta looked happy. Baker was inspired by the positive reaction. For the midfield, expecting you to take control of the midfield out there. I'll say that assertively. Right. No reaction. The attack, I will say no pressure on you tonight. Calmly. And Giroud listened keenly. All right. End that. Go ahead and kick off, play, it must be, yep, all right, so I guess they're going to show me the highlights here, keeping an eye on the players, conditioning wise, I guess nobody's in the 70s anymore, oh, I'm looking at the wrong team, <laughs> Kovacic to Pedro. Pedro crossed it to Giroud to Conte, who scored. Yeah, good job, Conte. Conte looks like a superstar in this game. Pedro looked like in slow motion. He centered it to Giroud, turned it around. Conte wide open. Easy, easy goal. Goalie was like five feet away from it. Now they're checking for uh, offsides, it looks like, but it doesn't look like it was offsides. Yeah, we'll take it. All right, looking at conditioning right now. We already got a yellow on Alonzo. Now we got Pedro looks the most tired. Aspilicueta looks tired. Probably at halftime, I'll probably take out Aspilicueta and Pedro. Here's a highlight. We got Baker with the steal. Passed it back to Caballero. Zuma. Marcus Alfonso to Pedro, who takes a shot and misses or gets saved. Straight into a corner, Kovacic knocked around, not quite. Good try though. Kovacic back to Zuma, back to Baker, cross to Aspilicueta, who centers it perfectly to Pedro. That was an easy, easy, easy goal. He might have been offside though, just from looking. Aspilicueta gets that cross in there, bam. Pedro's all by himself, just bouncing it in easy, easy volley. Well, I guess he wasn't offside. We'll take it. All right, this is telling me Alfonso has been booked. You might want to tell him to ease off tackles. Um, let's see how, what that means. So if I go to his profile, um, right now it says wing back defend. I can change it to support, automatic, or let's go to support and see if that changes anything. Short term plans. Nope, that's nothing. Okay. Let's go back to the match. And hit play. Here's a highlight. Aspilicueta threw it in. Hit it to Giorgino. Back to Aspilicueta. Giorgino. Barkley. Giorgino. Aspilicueta. Conte. Aspilicueta. Centers it to Pedro. Back to Drew. Kovacic with a shot. Barkley. Conte. Not quite. Good try though. Free kick to Baker who scores. Assisted by Al Alonso. All right. Look at that. Bam. Does that look like a header? Straight in. 3 nothing. They're checking for offside. Looked like that was good. Kovacic and Georgina are looking exhausted out there. Yeah, I'll probably start changing up people. Oh, we allowed a goal. Looked like Miles Peart Harris. Zuma tried to clear it with a header. Wiggett back to Bate after. 
and then hospital could have cleared it right to Harris who knocked it right in. Almost like a volley. The assist hospital quit there right there. He's got to clear it better than that. All right, halftime dressing room pep talk. Um, I could say assertively to everybody, very happy the way things are going. Keep it up. They re all reacted positively, so that's good. Um, talking to the defense. Happy with your solid defensive. We're winning. I have to be positive with them. Let's assertively say that. They're happy. They're positive about that. So it looks like I'm on the right track. Midfield. Very happy with your playing. Being assertively say that. They reacted positively. So it looks like assertive makes them happier. Attack. I can say happy with your effort in the final third. Assertively see if that works. Hey, they're extreme. Giroud was extremely delighted. And they were all happy. So it's. Looks like I'm saying the right things now if I assertively support what's going on in the game. Seems simple enough. Um, let's go ahead and start the second half. But I want to make a sub. I know we got some tired people right now. Um, Zoom is the most tired. I'll definitely take him out. Emerson, you can come in for Zuma. Next most tired is Barkley. Uh, all I've got right now on the bench is is the goalie and Batshuayi. So who's the most tired? I guess Barkley's kind of a midfielder. Pedro's kind of a... I'll go ahead and take out Pedro. Maybe let's see if I can tell Barkley to slow it down. Duty. He, okay, support or attack both similar. Roll. Attacking midfielder, advanced playmaker, Trey Cartista, dropping the holes beyond the midfield defense, does far less defensively, drifts around looking for space when not in possession. Enganche, the shadow striker, I guess. He's most suitable for the advanced midfielder position. I guess I'll leave him there. Um, I'm going to have to tell, figure out how to tell people to slow down a little bit. There's got to be a way to do that. Maybe it's just in position that they're specifically on. That's probably it. All right. Tactical changes. Here's the swaps. We'll see how these new players. Aspel Quito was booked. Might want to tell him to ease off. Tag. Better off playing Baker in a new position. Hey, Giorgino all by himself got crossed and scored. Look at that. Conte had it on the break, wide open, crossed it over there. Giorgino all by himself pocketed it right there. In the lower corner. Here's a highlight coming up. They got it wide open, but right to Caballero. Here's a centered by Baker off the free kick. Conte back to Baker, to Giorgino, to Baker, to Barkley, and it's saved, so no good. Marcos to Batswai. Kovacic to Barkley to Drew, that's why, and easy save. Got lots of highlights here. Whoa, that was a big kick right there. I keep having to play it back to the goalie. This is a good sign. One of these times we're going to get a poacher right there. Drew, oh, so close. Another, oh, another goal. Kovacic off a free kick. Baker to Kovacic. Oh, I know how to do this. Select your match mentality. Here we go. So I'm going to hit pause. It's now balanced. So I'm going to say cautious. Um, did that slow us down? Let's 
Let's see, if I'm too cautious, will that give people more? Maybe less goals. We're already at 5-1, so now they have a yellow card. Looks like a shot by Giroud off target. We got a lot of tired people right now. Maybe this extra game might, might not have been the best idea. Yeah, looking exhausted out there, might want to sub them out with, ooh, I got nobody on the bench. <laughs> they got a shot. We got 40 seconds left, 30 seconds left. Conte to Aspilicueta. Looks like he was fouled. Yep, yellow card right there. Here's our free kick to end the game. And out. Yep, and that's it. So we won, 5-1. to one. Great job. I predicted Chelsea win today. They duly delivered. Their fans will undoubtedly be pleased with this victory. Performance to go with it. Let's do this pep talk. Assertively say, good job. Happy with the performance. Everyone's happy with that, so I guess it's apropos. Defense, uh, assertively say, happy with your solid defensive effort. They're uh, glad about that. Assertively say, you did well, keep it up to the midfield. They were happy about that. And assertively say, you did well, keep it up to the offense. And they look delighted. So, hey, easy enough. Easy peasy. Uh, continue. All right. Well, let's put a cut in here. Um, that was a great game. That was a lot of fun. We'll pick it up, continue on the next uh, file.